All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be talking about how you can connect your PS4 controller wirelessly over Bluetooth to your Windows 10 PC and get it working with Steam so you can play all of your games without having to purchase an Xbox controller or something else. So in order to do this, you'll need to open up your settings. It'll help if you have a Bluetooth device somewhere in your computer. They're usually either connected to your Wi-Fi card, you can also purchase an adapter, or if you have a Logitech wireless Bluetooth mouse or keyboard, those will also allow you to connect using those little antennas to the Bluetooth in your computer. If you got one of those, all you gotta do is go to Devices, it'll say Bluetooth, Printers, and Mouse, and make sure your Bluetooth is actually turned on using this little toggle. It should appear blue, once it's turned on, and then you'll need to get a hold of your PS4 controller and get it ready to be found. So normally when you would pair the PS4 controller with your PlayStation, you would press and hold only the PlayStation button, but in order to make it discoverable to non-Sony devices, you need to press and hold both the PlayStation button and the share button for a few seconds until the light on the back of the controller pulses very, very rapidly. Once you do that, you can click on the Add Bluetooth or Other Devices button. It'll bring up this little pop-up. We're going to tell it we want to find a Bluetooth device. And then our controller should appear in this list. Just go ahead and click on it. It'll start to connect. And once it's done connecting, just click Done. And it should appear in your Connected Devices window. If for whatever reason you want to disconnect this so you can use it for another device without it trying to talk to your computer, you can just go into this list, click on the object, and click Remove Device, and it'll remove it from this list. Once you've got that done, you'll want to open up your Steam client and find your way up to Steam button, go to Settings, and go down here to Controller. You'll want to open up the General Controller Settings, which will open up a window that looks like it's a part of Steam's Big Picture mode. This little menu here will allow you to enable PS4 configuration support, and down here it should pop up with either your controller that you've already got plugged in, I've already set mine up in a previous tutorial, or allow you to add a device, name it, and change the settings so you can manipulate things like the color of the backlight, and you can even configure all of the buttons for whatever games you're playing. Once you've got all that set up, you should be good to go to start playing any game you want through Steam with your wireless PS4 controller. If you want to use your PS4 controller for other stuff on your computer that is unrelated to Steam and you're having trouble because it doesn't support the PS4 controller directly, you'll need to download a tool called DS4 for Windows, which is a free driver which convinces the computer that your PS4 controller is actually an Xbox controller, so you can use it for whatever you want. I'll cover that in another tutorial, but I just wanted to show people really quickly how you can connect your controller via Bluetooth to your PC and get going with whatever games you might have on Steam. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.